Is your toilet seat moving more than it's supposed to? A loose toilet seat is easy to fix or to replace altogether. My name is Nils with Learn to DIY and I'll show you how in just a couple of minutes you can swap out your toilet seat or tighten it down for good. Now on the back of the toilet seat you'll find a couple of little compartments here. This is where the nuts and bolts are located that hold the toilet seat to the toilet base. Now typically you can actually remove these either with a slotted screwdriver like this and prop them up or you can use your fingernail in most cases to get them as well. Pop them up. Now once you've opened these lids, you've got access to these bolts here and you can typically use either a slotted or flathead screwdriver or a Phillips screwdriver to tighten or loosen these. Underneath there's just a nut that holds the bolt in place and can be tightened there. And it might be a kind with one wing on it like I've got here. It might be a kind that you'll want to use an adjustable wrench to hold on to. So in my case, I've just got the one wing, so I'm gonna use a screwdriver on top, hold that nut in place, and then tighten it down. And with that, I can get it nice and tight to where that seat's not going anywhere. Be sure to do the same thing to the other side once you've got your toilet seat lined up and in a good place. Tighten this down. Then we just snap our lids shut, make sure they're on there secure, and you're all set. Now, if you're looking to replace your seat altogether, there is one important thing that you'll want to check out before you go to purchase your new toilet seat. On that note, I've got some links in the description below that you can check out for some of the top rated toilet seats. Yes, there are toilet seat ratings for toilet seats that are comfortable, the soft closed toilet seats, and some of the best deals. So save yourself a trip to the hardware store and have it shipped right to your house. Toilet seats for most toilets come in two sizes. There is a round like this one here or an elongated toilet seat. Now a round one will typically have a length from about the bolt or the mounting hardware to the tip of about 16 and a half inches or 16 and 5 eighths. So just like you see here. On an elongated toilet seat from the bolt to the end it's going to be about 18 and a half or 18 and 5 eighths right out to here. So be sure to measure your toilet seat before purchasing a new one. Now to replace the toilet seat we're going to go through the same process. We're going to remove the old one by loosening up the bolts. Once the nuts are all the way unthreaded, you can just pull the whole seat right out. And then we're just about ready to put in the new seat and kind of do the reverse process. So we'll put the bolt with the washers down in through the hole. And then we'll put these kind of clever nuts that they have here. These are locking. So as they get pulled up closer and closer to the hole here, they tighten and then they hold themselves in place. And we just secure that lid and we're good. Now that your toilet seat is taken care of, you may want to see what goes into making an entire bathroom. I actually created a time lapse of finishing a bathroom basically from start to finish, A to Z, and you can check that out right here if you're interested. <laughs> 